Hello Aquarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your 5-Minute Mini 5 Cast. General advice as always, I'll be pulling from the Stop and Smell the Roses Oracle by Angelic Revelation 144, as well as the Heart and Soul Whispers of Love Deck by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. All right, here we are for your timeless reading. What is the message for Aquarius? My needs are always abundantly met. My desires are fulfilled and reflect my inner divinity. Okay, wow, that's a great message. Let's grab a couple cards from the Heart and Soul Whispers of Love. So if you relate to that, Aquarius, if your needs are being met beyond your expectations when it comes to love and romance, certainly, that's, of course, a wonderful thing. But that could also be what it is that you are desiring if your needs are not being met. I want to grow old with you. This is somebody who wants to be with you forever. I got you a gift just waiting for the right time. Ooh. So whatever that gift is, maybe it's something that you have been expecting or really desiring and wanting. Let's grab some tarot here. I'll be pulling from my Illuminated Star Tarot. This is Volume 1. For Aquarius, Angels and Spirit Guides. We also have red roses that could be significant for some of you. Pink rose as well. That could be significant. Maybe that's your favorite flower. That could be the gift that you receive. Some flowers from your person. We do have the Eight of Swords, okay? This is a very mental type energy. Someone's feeling trapped in their thoughts, perhaps. This could maybe be the masculine wanting to let you know that they wanna be able to fulfill all of your needs and desires, but maybe they're not quite sure how to go about doing that, which is why whatever this gift is, it's going to take some time. But they are coming forward with financial security and to be able to offer stability in a partnership they feel very connected to you they feel the strong bond okay so part of the reason why they might be feeling this eight of swords vibe could be because there could have been disagreements between the two of you maybe you guys had arguments didn't see eye to eye that could also be what this gift is it could be a peace offering it could be a gift to say that they're sorry for something they've done or said and ultimately telling you they want to be able to grow old with you they want to be able to spend forever with you now part of the reason why there could have been disagreements and arguments could have been due to love rivals which can indicate that maybe there were trust issues here there could have been involvements with other people third party situations here and then we have the ace of swords and i like to see the ace of swords as a card that comes in giving you a new chapter a new door a new beginning after having gained this clarity okay and that clarity typically only comes after having gone through something really difficult right now Maybe this person hasn't quite experienced that breakthrough that this card can offer because they're still in this very mental imprisonment. It's like a mental prison, you know, just feeling like they can't do anything or they're just not feeling empowered enough to take that necessary step. But eventually, I feel they will. Let's see what else here. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Aquarius. So you guys might have hit a little bump on the road here that might have contributed to you guys arguing. Four of Swords, you know, this is a very healing card in that I like to see it as a break, you know, taking a break from drama, taking a break from arguing, because as you can see, rest, relaxation, recuperation, you guys could have said very hurtful things to each other. So this is almost like one of those cards where you got to go to your neutral corners to de-stress and to regroup. And I, I love how this is coming through. We've got the Ace of Cups, which is, again, a new beginning. It can represent a new chapter in love for you and this person. But it also starts with loving yourself first. It really comes full circle. You know, you need to be able to fill your own cup first in order to extend that cup to someone else. 
And so I feel you've, you've got the Wheel of Fortune right here. Good luck, good karma. And it's a part of your destiny, perhaps, to reconnect with this person. It looks pretty good. Things are turning around in your favor, Aquarius. All right, I'll leave it at that. If you're interested in your own reading, that info is down below. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.